Brotherly shove again. Hurts is in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, on first down, they needed two yards. Oh, oh we got hold another. On. We got some more action here. I got a feeling we're going to see this the rest of the game. A.J. Brown's fired up. Hurts deep in the end zone. Seen a lot of that play. I don't think I've ever seen Jalen Hurts walk in and step over people like that. It's incredible. Man, that a lot happened on that drive. And there is the conversation we'll look at. We've got some words being exchanged here. Aaron Jones, Pat Jones, among others. Rich Bisacci, the special teams coach, pulling some folks away. Don't know if the Vikings' anger stems from that last play at the end of the game where they threw it downfield. And Clifford, who is the backup for Jordan Love, has barely played. Only five snaps this year, so getting him is a little bit of action. But uh, there was some extra action afterwards as it got started there. It was a swing somewhere there with Andrew Booth. Malik Heath and others, and it continued on. We'll peek at that as Aaron Jones got hit in the face on the uh, the residual and the recoil after the initial contact with Booth. You see, Booth was uh, getting involved in conversation with an inactive player. You know, I, I give Aaron Jones credit for not throwing a punch and doing something to maybe right. suspend it exactly. or whatever. Exactly. Thank you, fellas. He was posted on that game. That's a big one. Here's a second and two. And met at the line of scrimmage by Reed is Mixon. Kansas City does a great job last week. They put some of the, oh, we got a skirmish going right now. Uh oh. Chase is right in the middle of it. Oh, there's, oh, it's getting, there's, oh, there's punches thrown. Oh, man. That, this is going to be a huge call. Might, might have been Sneed who started it. Personal foul, Cincinnati, number one. Personal foul, defense, number 21. Those fouls will offset. Third down. Okay, so it's on Edwards, not Sneed. But here it is with Chase and Sneed. Having a little uh, yeah. chat, wishing each other a happy new year. This is part, and they don't call it on Sneed after all that. And they call it on Chase, and then they call it on Mike Edwards, who gets into the mix. Well, you see, this is part of the defense's plan. Six oh, pass oh. plays, been pressured 17 of them. That's an absurd number. Just gets it outside one more time. Clock will run. Oh, they're going to get. They're going to get, yep. get Neville Gallimore. He kicked. He kicked the offensive lineman from the Giants while he was laying on his back. Take a look at this. So you see Gallimore. He's working there on the left side against Justin Pugh, and he mm. hits DeVito in the back, and Pugh didn't like it. But now take a look. Watch. So he takes a shot at him, but now watch Gallimore. Oh. Oh, yeah, he kicks him. That's uh, roughness, number 96 of the defense. Number 96 has been disqualified from the game. Yeah. It's a 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Yeah, so Neville Gallimore kicked out after that kick to the not-so-great area. That meanwhile, you've got a field goal attempt here of 57 yards. Good. And a skirmish after the kick by McLaughlin who earlier had one tipped and no good now you got another flag here coming in you got Gedeke involved in that well, it started with Tim Settle and Nick Leverett right at the be right after the the ball was kicked they they uh, got tangled up and Leverett ends up landing on top of Settle you'll you'll see it Right in the, if you can stay with it right there, and he settled in care for that, of course. And then here comes everybody. Meanwhile, McLaughlin, it's, it's so it's it's so interesting. Oh, oh my, yeah, Elvis there you go. Swing there. Little half MMA action here. The okay. officials will gather and discuss. Meanwhile, okay. 
lost in all of this stuff is a 57 yard field goal. Success from the nine, Howell. Couldn't get it to Thomas in space, and Cameron oh. Thomas chases him, and Kaiser White bangs into the quarterback, How, and the line judge from his backside throws a flag, and both teams throw in a fit. Three flags on the field after all of that, and we're only halfway through the first quarter. The quarterback, Sam Howell, took a shot. He's a big man, but... That might have been a late hit from White. Well, not might have been. That is a late hit. He's out of bounds oh, yeah. right here. Easy. Up high to the head. And that's one. I mean, that's just a flag. I don't care what league you're playing. You could be playing Pop Warner. That's a flag. <laughs> I got to tell you. Pre, halftime, post yeah, game. They, they got do. it all. Dinners, you name it. Well, you got a little action going on here at the end of the half. Trent Williams being walked away. And it looked like Trent Williams and Ashawn Robinson got tied up there. The team stay on the field. Well, he gave him a little. Yep. Yep. Stay on the field, please. The half is not over. Watch, watch this little push. At 71. Boom. Ashawn came right at him and stops right before. Whoop, steps right into him. With just 11 minutes to go. Riley Dixon will punch. From the eight yard line, big time hit. Flag is thrown, grabbed by Raymond, whacked by Smith. The best teams you see a good stop by the Jets, but you know the best teams. Oh gosh, getting chippy out here. Oh, Diggs comes uh, back for a little more. Don't do that, Diggs. You're the little guy, Diggs. No one to say when. Feels like this year is different. Gordon. Terrific dance by Gordon just to pick up three yards. Sealer and Chubb there, and some extracurricular after the play. Flags down. Not a major surprise with the way this game has gone. Miami, a proud defense that has not played nearly what they've been playing in recent weeks. They've got some frustration. Their frustration level's high. But it was not out of the realm of possibility these two could do it again. They could. At some point in the playoffs, if not the AFC Championship game. This one went on for a while, and as the whistle was blowing, of course, now that extra shove you get in. Melvin Gordon's not having it either. He's been around the block a few times. It's made uh, the ardent Miami supporters hopeful that Shula's going to hold on to that record. Mac Jones fires up the center of the field, and it is broken up, nearly picked again. Juju Smith-Schuster was there playing defense, and Brandon Jones is hurt. Brandon Jones stepping into that starting role for Javon Holland, and could this be a penalty on Smith-Schuster? And now temper starting to flare. Smith-Schuster just trying to play defense. Dolphins players didn't appreciate that contact. And now the officials quickly trying to restore order. Well, you don't want this to get out of hand here. Coach is trying to separate players. There's Christian Wilkins left of your screen. Brandon Jones, by the way, is still down. Completely sprawled out. You know, look like a. March, dare I say, legal hit. Didn't lead with the helmet, kind of led with the shoulder. With DK Metcalf. 
Here is Walker for the touchdown. And frustration with Leonard Williams right in the middle of it for the Giants, and they're going to throw a flag as that just went on too long. See that? I mean, that's a pretty good push, you know, to get that movement. You got Curhan, the right tackle. He gets some movement. I'm guessing that it was, who knows, but maybe it was. Football and accounts, but win enough along the way until you get there. Well, they've done that, really. This ball is dropped by Flowers. There's a penalty flag, too, far side of the field. Yeah. I think they're going to get. And now there's a little skirmish. We got some pushing, shoving, face mask grabbing. And a bigger skirmish. Yeah, the, the flag came from the secondary. I think they might have gotten one of the Ravens receivers blocking downfield a little too early. I think they might get Devin Duvernay, number 13. Yeah. Even if the ball's not thrown past the line of scrimmage, it's a very different rule than in college. Pass interference, offense. That penalty is declined. Results of the play, fourth down. Oh, you see there, too, Morgan Moses after a block. Lions took exemption there. Don't let him extend. Fourth down. Pass to the end zone. It is caught. Logan Thomas. And he took a shot. Who took a shot. Kareem Jackson. My goodness. Logan Thomas somehow making the catch. And now the concern in the end zone on Washington's tight end. And this one was, this one was as, as, as helmet to helmet as you could possibly get. And you're going to see Jackson launch. I know it's a bang, bang play, but you see him launch. Mm. And uh, there is no doubt. You know, I thought the one last week was a bit questionable on Jackson at the end of the game. Uh, but certainly that one right there does not look good. You know, Jackson was, and the score remains 21 to 9. During the commercial, Kareem Jackson was ejected for that hit on the defenseless player, Logan Thomas, who made the touchdown cap. Even if you're deciding to go for it. From the gun. Flags down. And the play whistled dead, and Stroud getting into it with Alex Singleton. His teammates coming over to protect him. And Stroud was not backing down, nor was Singleton. And if this is on Singleton, guess what? Houston's going to come out of it well. That's all he's saying. You didn't need to put your hands on me and push me. Whistle was blowing. And C.J. Stroud bowed up and let him know. And look at the teammates, as you noted, Ian. How they feel about C.J. Stroud, you don't touch our quarterback. We also have a personal foul defense, number 49. That 15-yard penalty is half the distance, automatic, first down. Well, that's a crusher for Denver because today a little bit of a different story. Go quick again with his Allen sneak again. It is working like a charm, but he's still going. How do you bring Josh Allen down? They had a hold of his shirt, a hold of his leg, and it doesn't matter. Now Tepper's flaring again. Not to use one here on first down. Ritter throws an interception. It's Tyron Matthew gift wrapped. And the turnover issue shows up at the worst time here. Flag flies after the play. And these teams that don't like each other are getting into it. Both quarterbacks an interception inside the 10 yard line. Uh, and what a great drive by the Falcons up until that point, converting a couple of third downs. We, we saw New Orleans taking some time. Play this week from uh, Jack Jones. He was talking about Mahomes, and he says, Patrick Mahomes, you've got to stop the magician. You stop the magician, then the act is over. It was everywhere. And now, uh, once again, it's a long so game. You've got to be careful. you got to be careful. And now as Jones mixing it up, you can see, though, the Raiders. Look at Pierce. Come on. Get back. He's a good job. 
get back Keep before poised. you get thrown yeah. out and your act is over today. you got to remember, he knew him since he was a kid. Three yards, no one talks about it. But imagine if they get a touchdown off of this play because of Saquon Barkley. Now DeVito takes off. Oh, and he took a hard hit. At the end of that play, and now a flag. Yeah, it looks like he took a hit to the head. Right, as he was sliding, giving himself up. Right. How soon or how late did he start his slide, though? He says he's all right. And he gets up, he walks away. Isaac Yadam, the fourth. The ball will start the second half. For 53, Myers. Nope. Fifty to the right. There's a flag down and a scuffle going on. We've got a helmet off, punches being thrown. And now, always at halftime, you get players who are heading off to the locker room, players coming off the sideline. So the officials try to keep control of this. In the middle of the play, watch right here. They're going to flip somebody upside down here. You Whoa. see Stone Forsyth just takes his man and flips him, and then the melee started from there. At halftime, here's a look again. After the play, personal foul, <laughs> unnecessary roughness, defense, number 78. This 15-yard penalty will be enforced in the opening kickoff of the second half. Talk about it.